In this video, I'm gonna show you how I make homemade charcoal that can be used for biochar in the garden, making black powder, filtering water, or whatever else you would use pure carbon for. All right, so I got this pail from Home Depot. This seems pretty airtight though. This lid locks in place very well. I mean, it's kind of hard to get it off actually. And then you can bend this over and it turns into a locking lid also. So like so. And I drilled some holes in the bottom for the gas to escape. See there? And I'm gonna, it's gonna be sitting on a half of a brick in the barrel. All right, so I picked up this vent pipe here. It's like five feet, so it's gonna be awesome. So I did the thing on the top of the lid where you cut it out, set the vent pipe over it, and then I've got these little brackets here that are gonna hold it in place. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna rivet those in place. So I'm gonna drill out the holes in the pipe and rivet those brackets on and then rivet it to the top of the barrel. All right, there's my barrel. Got my bucket in there sitting on the brick. About to start adding some wood and light it up. So I finished my little lid vent stack thing here. I don't think it's gonna be airtight at the bottom, but I think it'll serve the purpose. The purpose of this is to draw air from the very bottom of the barrel all the way up through the top kind of fast it's gonna i'm doing the burn from the top down method so as soon as that heat gets all it's gonna it's gonna be drawing the air causing it to burn from the top down and with that lid on it's really gonna come keep that heat in and cause that pyrolysis to take effect so all right got my vent holes on the bottom i got a little door down there somewhere i guess i need to stoke it from the bottom yeah there it is i can open that up but got the wood packed in on the sides and the top so you, the idea here is you light it from the top. Once it gets going good, you put the lid on it and that's gonna draw the air up, which causes the fire to burn down. And then it's gonna maintain the heat until the pyrolysis starts. And it, then this right here starts happening out of the barrel, hopefully out of those holes I drilled on the bottom. And it should take, you know, several hours to do, but let's go ahead and light this up. <laughs> Right, it's been about five minutes and I've got a roaring clean burning fire going on right here. Uh, FYI, those pallets are pretty clean burning. I mean, there's not a whole lot of smoke coming off from them. I'm going to give this a few more minutes to just start spreading down a little bit before I put the lid on it. I don't want to put the fire out too soon, but man, ooh, that's piping hot. All right, so I put the lid on it. I was worried that it was going to put the fire out, but I can see through these little holes here that the fire is still blazing in there. And if I look at the top, look at that. There is actually flame coming out of the top of this. That's how high, that's how much this thing is pulling. That is just crazy. I mean, that thing's, how tall is that? Five feet? And there is flame. I can see it. Look at that flame. So this uh, is creating a wind tunnel that is pulling the flame five feet. Of course, I'm kind of worried that my little stack here is gonna burn up. I don't know if it's rated for this much heat. I bet it's not. I sure hope it don't burn up. Well, all you gotta do now is leave it alone. There's nothing else to do to it but wait. I would like to come out here and video though when the pyrolysis starts, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it. It's hard to see it. You can hear it though. I, and I can see the pyrolysis is working. Those flames are coming out of the bottom of the bar barrel that I put in there. And the smoke up here got really dark and thick. That's all the steam burning off of the wood and all the impurities burning off of that char, uh, burning off of that oak. So as soon as all this goes away, as soon as that stops going burning like that, I'll know it's finished. I mean, I'm polluting my neighborhood, but other than that, you know, what the heck. Uh, you can see how the barrel is actually so hot that it's red down there at the bottom. If I'm not mistaken, that's where the flames are coming out of my inner barrel and I moved the lid just to kind of see what was going on in there. And as soon as I moved the lid, flames started shooting out of the top of this again. 
but they went away. The smoke's gone now though, so I've got a perfectly clean burn. The gases are definitely burning off. I can't get my camera in there close it up, but you see that flicker? See that flicker right there? That's the heat that's coming out of the bottom of that barrel that I've got. I guess I should have set it lower so I'd be able to see it from here. I think I might, I think I might do that. I think I might take the, the brick out and set it lower, but yeah. So the gases from the inside of the barrel are definitely burning. All right, well, let's finish with the pyrolysis. I don't hear it flaming anymore. Uh, let me see if I can get this out. Ugh. Oh, it's light. Dude. All right, so how do you know it worked? Well, the bucket is super light. I could, I could barely pick that up earlier. I'm gonna give it a minute to cool off and then open it up. All right, I can't wait any longer. Let's open this up and see if I got charcoal. That is beautiful effing charcoal. All right, this has had a chance to cool off. So check this out. And dude, this thing was completely full up to here. I'll bet I got 70% charcoal out of this, but dude, there's even big pieces. Look how shiny and perfect. Watch this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this one. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect freaking charcoal. I can't even believe it. This actually worked. I mean, there was a lot of smoke, but it totally worked. So, awesome sauce in a tin can. Okay, round two. I left the stack off this time because when I put it on there, there was smoke just like last time. And basically, there's not a lot of smoke. It's just like you're having a regular fire in your yard. And you can hear the pyrolysis happening. Let me see if I can get close enough. I don't know if you can hear that whistling or not, but it's coming out of the bottom of that barrel and I put a hole in the top also, but it's working and there's way less smoke. So I don't know how people are doing this with a stack and not getting smoke, but I just can't seem to make it work. So I think I'm just gonna do it this way. What's happening right now is the wood inside of the inner barrel is heating so strongly that it's gassing off all of its impurities. It's superheating without catching on fire. That's the key. It can't catch on fire. And all of the impurities are gassing off, and those impurities are flammable, so the flames come out of the holes in the bucket and, in turn, helps to heat the bucket. And that's essentially what the pyrolysis is. All right, so it's the next day. I went ahead and let this one sit out overnight, but what I did to suffocate the oxygen is I dug this little hole in the ground and I just set it down in because the holes that I drilled in this are on the very bottom. And then I just shoveled the dirt around the sides and then for the hole on the top, I just put a little bit of dirt over that. So see, there's the hole. Let's go check it. it doesn't feel like there's as much in this as last time, but I'll check it and see. I think some of it might've burned off. Oh. <laughs> Look at this charcoal, y'all. That is so awesome. That is so very awesome. Like, look at that. Hear that glassy? Perfect. And there they are. Perfect freaking charcoal. About to throw some chicken on this little thing. If you like me, you should subscribe to my channel. If you don't like me, you probably shouldn't because you'll most likely get tired of me after a while. And remember, if you can't do it yourself, maybe you can do it with Chomp.